If you want to know how you can perform a backup from the secondary storage and limit the I.O. bandwidth on primary side, this video explains it. You can achieve this using Veeam snapshot and backup integration with Pure Storage. Veeam integration with Pure enables various data protection options such as snapshot as a backup, replication of snapshot to another array, or offloading the snapshot to any NFS or S3 target. And one of the options is to back up the data from the replication site. With this feature, now you have the provision to offload your backup workloads to a secondary storage and you can preserve the IO bandwidth on the primary storage. This is the high level architecture that explains the backup, backup workflow. The snapshot only job, job creates a chain of storage snapshot on the primary storage array with the option to perform replication to the secondary pure storage array. But the Veeam backup job from the secondary side will instead create a backup copy from the snapshots replicated to another array. Backing up from the secondary storage snapshot has its own advantages, such as not impacting the primary storage bandwidth, and you can save the backup copies to any storage for long-term retention. And it provides the ability to perform the full recovery and file-level recovery. For Veeam to run the backup job from the replica target, you would need to install Veeam 12 and need to install Veeam plugin version 12 for pure storage. Make sure to configure the backup and storage infrastructure. To successfully configure the replication, please review the requirements at purestorage.com and make sure to create a protection group with appropriate volumes enrolled as a requirement for Veeam snapshot and backup job. Once you have the replication set up successfully, you would need to configure a Veeam backup job and then select to configure the secondary storage for the job options. And make sure to enable from backup from snapshots in the advanced settings. Backup from snapshots on secondary storage array is similar to backup from storage snapshot on the primary storage array. Veeam backup and replication analyzes which VMs in the job host their disk on the storage system and checks the backup infrastructure to detect if there is a backup proxy that has a direct connection to the storage system. Depending on the backup job settings, the storage snapshots can be application consistent or crash consistent. At the secondary target step of the wizard, add pure storage flash array replication as an option and enable it to use as a data source. Now let's take a look at the flash arrays. This is the primary flash array with replication setup to this flash array. And let's run this job with asynchronous replication setup on flash arrays. Let's go ahead and run the backup job on the Veeam server. Once the job is initiated, it will perform a snapshot on the primary flash array. As you can see, there's a snapshot created on the primary array. And this snapshot will be transferred to the replica site and later it will start reading the backup data from the replication target. As you can see in the screen now, the backup is initiated and it is reading the data from the replication target array. You can also view the logs on the Veeam job run where it checks for replication link and performs the snapshots and then it transfer it to the replication site and later perform the backup from the replica array. This is how simple it is to configure a backup job from a secondary storage with Veeam and Pure Storage. To conclude this video, we can leverage this feature for both synchronous and asynchronous synchronous replication. It can be very effective backup solution without impacting the network bandwidth on the primary site, and you have the ability to perform full, instant, or file level recovery from backup data. Thanks for watching this.